welcome to everything with dofan happy birthday to anyone celebrating their birthday today if you're celebrating your birthday and you're watching everything with dofan today i said happy birthday coronavirus have nothing on you go on and have a blast so let's go into the issue of today nollywood actor and politician yul edoche has descended heavily on politicians across nigeria and africa as a globe taking to his twitter handle yul edoche who is the son of uh, pete edoche a veteran of the nigerian nollywood actor frowned at the way nigerian and african leaders are treating the continent and the continent Country. According to him, he says he doesn't understand why Nigerian leaders are looting the country dry and wonder what's actually wrong. Edoche made this known and I will read his tweet directly. He said, I don't understand these leaders who are looting our country dry. What's really wrong? To fix all sectors of this country will cost less than what you people are stealing will you die if you fix nigeria or are you people in any court that forbids you from developing our country so you know this is what most of us have been wondering because we see the money that are being allocated and we see the impact it's nothing to write home about and then we have ohemai godwin amazi that replied to you a duchess twitter said that newly received 311 million dollars about your loot is what about 124 billion if you allocate 1 billion each to nigerian 20 national teaching hospitals you will still have 120 billion leftovers as change for real the social cost of corruption is brutal so this is just the tip of the eyeball like somebody said what if abacha were to be still alive would we still be receiving this loots we will still be getting this monies back and you know another annoying part is the part that these monies are taken out of our continent out of our, our country and they are just lodged in a bank somewhere is given the other countries this money came from america and i heard that france has just discovered another loot about 319 million us dollars in france and they are working to return it back to nigeria now this money has been with these countries they have been using it to develop their small scale businesses give it as loan maybe loan without collateral loan without interest to develop their continent while entrepreneurs like us in nigeria are looking for as small as 100 millions in loan to help us expand and i know there are some entrepreneurs even in africa nigeria looking for as low as 1 million naira you know that is like um three thousand dollars to help them move their businesses and they can't get it but our monies are developing other countries when can this slavery stop is what someone does not get to understand i i really really can relate with what you edoche is feeling it's devastating to think that we don't have steady power supply in nigeria especially which is the giant of the africa it's disheartening to know that our roads are so bad that millions of people are dying on these roads on a daily basis it's so disheartening to know what is happening in this continent that now madagascar has developed a cure for covid19 preventive and curative but we are still in a slavery mentality waiting on the white man to get one and approve for us why what do we really go through before we approve if i'm sick and i take paracetamol and it helps me i will recommend it to somebody else to take any help what kind of approval are we looking for that all the african countries except for the few that have ordered have not really rushed to madagascar to pack this thing down and save lives we are still dying can't we lead for example even when can't we lead for once not for example can't we lead for once even now even now that god has helped everybody and is giving us leverage to show leadership we are still waiting for how long are we going to sit but let me not deviate are they in any courts that really say that you must not develop your continent i know when i was growing up there are courts that people would get to that they said that the money you get from the courts gives you you must not give it to your family members and you see that there's the one family member that is stinkingly rich but the entire family is dying could it be that our leaders have gone to join a court that they said our continent 
cannot be developed. If you see the enthusiasm and the fire they have in their eyes when they are seeking this political position, it's different from when they have gotten it. When they have gotten it, it seems as if all the ideas they had that they were talking to us about when they are conversing for our votes just disappears. It just disappears. It's amazing what is happening in this continent. It's amazing, but you know, I don't know what is happening. What do you really think is happening? Why Africans are so much in this bondage that we are, and it seems as if we cannot come out of it. Do let me know what you think in the comment section. I love you, and I will see you again when I see you. Like I said, if you're joining us today, and today is your birthday, we celebrate you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. And put it in the comment section. Let's celebrate you. I love you all. I'll see you again when I see you. Bye-bye.